Hi everyone, I'm Andrew from ActiveChat.ai and I would like to show you how easy it is to create a basic Telegram chatbot with our ActiveChat bot building platform. We'll be using a couple of advanced things like working with system variables and uh, pulling data from external APIs with JSON module. So I hope this uh, short manual would be of some interest for all you bot makers out there. We start with uh, logging into the platform. It's uh, located at app.activechat.ai. Don't forget to uh, sign up first if you don't have an account already. I'm logging in with my Google account now. And here we are, we can create a new bot. I will start with uh, making a bot on Telegram with Botfather to walk you through the steps required uh, and then we'll get back here to the platform to paste the Telegram access token into the bot settings. We will be creating a chatbot uh, to pull random Chuck Norris jokes uh, from a public available free API and sending these jokes uh, to bot user. So we start on Telegram with uh, Botfather and uh, I tell Borfather that I want to create a new bot. I'll be giving the bot a name. Let's call it Chuck Norris Jokes. And a username. Chuck Norris Jokes bot. This name is already taken. I'll try another one. Let's call it CN jokes bot. Yep, this name is available. And now we have a Telegram access token. I'm copying this and going back to my platform and creating a new chatbot. Let's give this agent a name. Let's call it Chuck Norris jokes bot. Press save and paste my Telegram token here activate it and pressing save again okay now we're ready to start editing and i go to the visual flow builder and start with a simple text block that will be triggered immediately after the start block i connect these two blocks with a line and ask user a question hi I will address the user by his name, by his first name. We use the system variable telegram first name for this. And then I will ask, would you like to have a Chuck Norris joke? I'm adding two buttons to this block. One black button for OK sure and another button for no thanks. And I press save. Now we have this block with two buttons and I'm adding one more block here for no thanks. Connecting this button with a line and saying bye bye to bot user. I would adjust type and time for two seconds here to make it more human-like and now I will uh, pull data from external API I'm using JSON block for this I'm connecting this block to OK sure button and here I will paste the API request address uh, to pull random jokes about Chuck Norris I'll be using API at Chuck Norris IO and here's the URL that I want to copy I'm copying the link Please note that uh, we uh, are using get method to access this link. And I'm getting back to my platform to JSON module editor and paste this URL here and make sure that get method is selected. I press save and now I need two more text blocks, one to tell a joke. It will be triggered if we have a successful call to API and another text block to notify user about the error that uh, could happen while accessing the API. In text we will be using system variable value. How do I know which name to use? It's easy. If I go to the API and copy this link and try it in my browser 
I can see that uh, the JSON returns a couple of uh, key value pairs. And the uh, key and value for the joke itself is uh, key would be value and the value would be the, uh, the joke itself. So I'm using a variable value since uh, JSON block will be filling the variables by key names. Getting back to the builder, value here and another text block to ask the user if he would like one more joke or not. I'm connecting the block, putting it here, and ask the user, would you like some more? Again, adding two buttons, one for sure and another for no thanks. I'm saving this and uh, I will be adding one more text uh, block. Sorry, I have already added it, so I'm delete this one. And in this one we will be informing the user that something is wrong with our API access. And both blocks will be connected to our JSON block again. If the user presses sure button, we'll redirect him back to the JSON block. And if the user presses no thanks button, we'll redirect him to bye bye block. Okay, looks pretty simple, but let's see how it works in the messenger. I press run to compile and uh, deploy my agent. And then I go back to Telegram and start communicating with my new bot. I press start and I see my first block. Hi, my first name. Would you like to have a Chuck Norris joke and two buttons? Okay, sure, no thanks. Let's get back to the visual flow. This is a start block and it is connected to this text block. Hi, Telegram first name. Would you like to have a Chuck Norris joke and two buttons? Okay, let's see what happens if, if I press no thanks. We are typing for two seconds and then we see bye bye. You can see this, type in two seconds and then tell the user bye bye and nothing follows uh, from this block. Ok, let's try once more. I press start once again and now I will choose ok sure button. And you can see a random joke about Chuck Norris here. Chuck Norris doesn't have sex, sex has Chuck Norris. Would you like some more? Sure or no thanks. You can see that we have uh, pulled the data from external API, uh, sent it uh, to user as a value as a text block, and then got another block, would you like some more with two buttons. Ok, sure, I would like some more. And I get yet another random joke about Chuck Norris. If I press no thanks, communication with the bot will be over. So, as you can see, the idea of uh, our uh, bot building platform is uh, pretty simple. We wanted to build a platform that would be uh, simple enough and uh, powerful enough uh, to be used with external APIs, with uh, natural language understanding and so on. And we'll get back to more on this, about natural language, about timers and about data processing in the next videos of this series. As you can see, the process of creating this chatbot uh, took less than 5 minutes together with uh, registering the bot on uh, Botfather. Please feel free to check the documents and uh, to try the platform for yourself. Uh, the links are below this video. And hope to see you soon in the next videos of this introduction series. And hope to see you soon in the next videos for this introduction series. Have a good time there and start using Active Chatbot Architect to create useful and engaging bots today. Thank you for watching and have a good time there. Bye bye.